Hi everyone, this is Grace and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how to decorate this Hanukkah set and boy am I excited. It is a new to me design concept. I did not come up with it. It's this color blob with a continuous line drawing on top. I just love the simplicity, the modern sleek look. First up we have the menorah. I am just outlining the blob that I will ultimately have with my white and then flooding in um, the white portion. I'm using a one consistency outline and flood here and I am just roughly <laughs> drawing this blob. They're not meant to be the same in my opinion. They should all look a little different. You can choose to do the blob kind of in the shape of what you're going to draw on top, or you could just do them all kind of the same as a circle or an oval, whatever floats your boat. I chose to flood the white very intentionally on the outside first before the blue. There's something about when you layer flooding that sometimes there can be a little bit of layering on the edge almost it's kind of hard to explain and so if you did the white second there might be a bit of overlay on the very edge and I wanted really the blue to be the prominent color here just using my scribe to give it a little shake because it was a little on the thick side and then here I'm using my projector which I will link in the description of the video here so here I am using a projector to project an image that I found on the internet. I did buy a license to use this image for these purposes. And I'm using a soft peak lettering consistency here. That for me means that when I take the spoon out of the bowl of icing, turn it upright, the peak completely flops over onto itself but still maintains the integrity of the line. I like to use soft peak in particular for this kind of technique, but you could use medium peak lettering consistency um, if that's how your icing turned out. And it's really important when doing fine line work like this, you can see right there especially that I am lifting the bag off of the surface of the cookie anywhere from a quarter of an inch to sometimes even maybe as much of an inch off to really guide the icing and give it the cleanest line possible. If you're putting your bag too close to the surface of the cookie, you're going to get very jagged, not straight lines, <laughs> not smooth lines, and you really want as smooth as possible here. So that is the menorah. Next up, we have the candle. And no, the, the cookie is not actually yellow in the middle. I had flooded this already with the wrong color yellow, so I scraped it off. I didn't have any other cookies left in the set. This was the last one to actually film. Ain't no shame in scraping off a cookie, believe me. I've done it so many times. It's a lifesaver, and you know what? No one's gonna know. No one's gonna know as long as you make sure that you ice fully on top of what you had iced the first time, no one's gonna know. So I'm doing the same technique here with the one consistency outline and flood. It's my thicker flood, which means that when I pull the spoon out of the bowl and turn it upside down, it just barely trickles off the spoon just barely. A thin flood for me completely trickles off in a waterfall. A piping consistency, if it falls off the spoon at all, it's going to be in a blob. My soft peak can fall off the spoon in a blob. A medium peak or a stiff peak is not going to come off the spoon at all. So again, here using an image that I purchased from the internet. And I just love the simplicity of this candle. It makes me so happy. <laughs> and that is the candle. Up next, we have the dreidel. Again, same concept here. I'll just talk for a second about why I chose to use soft peak lettering consistency for the continuous line drawing. I want to make sure that the lines really 
overlay on top of each other but still um, kind of meld together so there isn't too much separation in the lines and I want there to be kind of a soft start and end to the line instead of um, maybe like a stiffer peak on the end of it. So I really like to work with the soft peak. You could certainly do this kind of line drawing with a medium peak. Uh, it just may look a little bit different because the icing will kind of, um, in the overlay portions, or when they overlap, I should say, it will kind of stick up more, if that makes sense. <laughs> but that also may just be something that I notice and, and no one else notices. <laughs> so medium, soft peak, whatever you're able to muster together. This black here, that's the dreidel. Uh, the black that I'm using is the Sugar Art Master Elite in black. Highly, highly, highly recommend. It is really difficult to get a good black with gel coloring that is not overcolored, which can lead to bleeding, um, color bleed. Overcoloring can also make the icing dry kind of crumbly. And then also it can just make it taste bad. My royal icing uses lemon juice to flavor it, so I think that cuts through any bad flavor from too much food coloring, but still it can happen. So the Master Elites by the Sugar Art is a highly pigmented powder and you use way less of it. It is so effective. I'm so obsessed. I only use that for black. I also have it in red and a bunch of other colors, but if you're going to buy anything, make sure you get the black and the red. And I will link that in the description of this video. This color here is also actually a Sugar Art Master Elite. This is the Autumn Gold, and I am completely obsessed with this color as well. <laughs> and here is a little continuous line writing, which I love doing. I just find it to be kind of like a dance of just a continuous motion. I love doing it. I love watching it. <laughs> it's very soothing to me. And there, although the image wasn't actually connected, I decided to connect the words because I was really going, I was really committing to this continuous line concept <laughs> and I wanted them to connect. So I made them connect. Couldn't do this without a projector, although I want to challenge myself next time, I think, to freehand some drawings. We'll see. We'll see if I can do it better with icing than with a pencil. <laughs> so that's the Happy Hanukkah. And that is the whole set, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this new design concept and that you have fun making this yourself. <laughs>